Hey guys, Vertigo Electric here, and this morning I'm playing a game called Colorful. This is a free game you can get on Game Jolt. And just to note, I rarely do this, but this is actually a retake. Um, I played this for several minutes already, um, and I was recording, uh, but it just didn't go very well. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I like the the audio the music was way too loud you could barely hear my voice etc etc and uh so even though this technically isn't a first impression um i don't think much is going to change so this is a re-recording and uh <clears throat> i want to try to do it properly and better so let's press space to start This game, by the way, the, the music in this game is way too loud. Um, when you start it up, it, it says it recommends uh, that you use headphones. And actually, I'm going to turn it down a little more because uh, it's just so loud. <clears throat> so if I were to make a criticism about that, it would be that the uh, it's just too loud. And I'm going to change the music with F5. Let's just go with that. Um, and I don't really want to change anything else, so let's go back. And then we'll start the game. New game. Enter my name. See, it's already in there. Um, I, I went with Spark for the last uh, the last time I played, but I'm going to change, change that to... Um, I'm gonna just go with flare. That's I think that's like that was a default one. And enter. First level. Oh yeah, I gotta go through all of this. Oh, I can use. I forgot I can use my controller. I'm gonna use a controller for that. All right. So basically, what we got here is a very colorful little platformer that uh, it's it's very simple and does in uh, as far as you know layout and graphics but uh, I like how they take take simple things like the blocks for example and when they're kind of closer to the edge of the screen I don't remember that spike ever falling when I played through this a few minutes ago anyway um, the way they kind of transition in and out of view with that little spin. Oh, dang it. So I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And I know it's, it, I know it's, it's a lot different, but the, the way, the way the screen tilts and this music in particular I know you could change the music um, but this this song in particular I don't know if you can hear it very well but it reminds me of uh, it gives me a sort of um, now I forgot I forgot the name of the game the uh, oh, electronic super joy kind of vibe to it and uh, I like that game like I said it's a lot different but it just kind of gives me that that vibe. It's very colorful, very um, you know challenging. Uh, the way the screen moves around like this does that in Super Electronic Super Joy at, at uh, some later later areas. Um, if I were to complain about anything. Well, I already complained about that. Oh, dang it. <clears throat> I already criticized the music being too loud, but I, you know, you can always turn down the volume, but, uh, see what's happening right now. I did went through all of that. And if I, if I die, it sends me all the way back to the beginning. They don't seem to be any checkpoints. I have yet to find any checkpoints in this. Um, there are apparently eight levels so I'm, I mean, you know, 
<clears throat> I assume when I get to another level, I don't, I don't have to, you know, restart from the first level. But some kind of checkpoint would be be nice. Or maybe even um, like different difficulty modes where... Uh, was that a... I think I just heard a Super Mario World sound effect in the in the music track anyway yeah checkpoints would be nice um, in fact the main reason I quit uh, my first attempt to do this recording was because I didn't I didn't like having to go all the way back to the beginning I got I got this far I remember getting this far But, yeah, I think this is where I lost it. Oh, man. Jump! Okay. Jump! Wow, those spikes are falling. See? Oh, that would have sucked. Anyway. So this is the farthest... Everything from here on out? From, he from here forward is brand new to me, so... We're back to first impressions as far as... Uh, I knew, I knew that spike was going to fall. I was like, you know what, as soon as, I, as soon as I go over that edge. Oh, so this must be the end of the level. That's cool. Two deaths. I guess that's not bad. Alright, we'll move on to level two. I don't, I'm don't. i going to tell you right now, I'm not going to get through this whole thing. Not in, you know, in this video. Can I get out of here? I feel like I can... I'm gonna see if I can get out. Oh, I... oh crap! <sighs> I tried to, um, I accidentally paused and then I accidentally quit, which was. Do I still get to start from where I... Yeah, well, it wasn't terribly far, but still, that's, that's kind of... Oh, I did it again! When I press when you press A on the controller, the Xbox controller, when I press A, it pauses. But if you press A again, it just keeps reloading the pause screen. And then I pressed X, because see, it says press X to exit. And that's what I did. So I'll press Z this time, which is actually not on the controller. It's on the keyboard. Oh my gosh! The reason that, the reason I keep doing that by accident is because um, on the controller X is jump, and if I press A, which is what I'm so used to using for jump, that's actually the pause screen. I don't I don't think I can. If I can manage to get. Yes. Wonder what this is gonna do. Oh well. Okay. Looks like they thought of that. I'm gonna try it again. Can I jump off this? Oh, I can. So what if I? Oh no. That was bad. All right, I'll just go the right way. Ah, oh, dang it. So, yeah, if I were to make any recommendations, I'd say make the music lower. Or at the very least, have a, um, a volume slider in the options. It's cool that you could change the track, but... Um, I would like I would like to see a, an option to change the volume and uh, maybe the occasional checkpoint would be nice ah oh, come on and yes I definitely heard the Mario sound effect in the track but anyway I'm gonna as I usually do I'll put a link to this game in the description uh, so you can go try it out if you want and if you do, 
Um, I encourage you to uh, post a comment on the on the on the game's game jolt page. Give it a rating, all that kind of stuff. I, one thing I want to do in my videos, I, I've been playing a lot of Game Jolt games. And I... I mean, I'm always honest about how I feel about them. Sometimes to a somewhat harsh degree. Uh, if, you know, if I have a lot of negative thoughts towards them. But what I'd like to do is start being a bit more constructive, if I can, about my criticisms. Like, if I have a... Oh my gosh. Like, if I have a, a problem with a game, you know, I, I definitely will express that. But I'll try to do so in a way that's not just demeaning and discouraging to the developer. I, you know, I know what it's like to put a lot of time and effort and energy into working on a game. Uh, and getting feedback and I know how uh, either encouraging or discouraging that feedback can be depending on the way it's given so um, I'm gonna try I want to try to be encouraging to these developers if they deserve it <laughs> And most of them do, but there's some people that just we there's there's some some games and stuff where you can just tell they're just they're just being lazy and they're not really putting effort into the what they're doing. I'm assuming I'm not supposed to touch those, so I'm gonna try not to. Looks like the end of the level. Vert bite. Oh. Why does it say vert bite? This thing here must be a nano check. Dang it. I, Z. Enter. Nano checks are very useful, so I must collect them. So, is that a checkpoint then? If that's a checkpoint, then that's, that's very good because. Oops. It is a checkpoint. Okay, well, that sort of takes care of my my complaint about that. Although I don't know, I'd probably like I'd probably like to see maybe more frequent checkpoints. You know, maybe like halfway through level 1 or something. I I don't know why I can't make this jump. It's just not working for me. I'm gonna give it a few more tries, and and then uh, I'll, if I can't make it, I'll just. I don't know why I can't do that. It's not even that hard, difficult of a jump. You know, looking at it anyway. It's okay here, there. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's fine. That's enough. I think I've, we've played enough. We get we get the idea. So, <clears throat> but anyway, this is uh, colorful, and it's called colorful on Game Jolt. So go check it out. Um, if you like this video, please click like. It helps me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and you'll <clears throat> get to see the other games that I play and try to promote and talk about. So anyway. I'll see you guys later. Oh, there is one little tiny bit of feedback that I want to say here. Um, in order to exit the game, you have to go to the pause menu and then press X to exit and then press space at the title screen and wait for it to get over to this screen and then click exit game. And then it'll exit the game. Um, I would like... I don't know. I just think that's a little time consuming. So maybe put like an exit option, like in the pause screen to exit the whole whole thing. Like I can't even Alt F4. Usually when I'm done with the game, I just press Alt F4 and it closes it, but that doesn't even, uh, this blocks it for some reason. So anyway, I just want to throw that in. But uh, overall, pretty cool game. So well done. See you guys.
Such play plays, game plays, and all of the games.